Okay, so let's talk about Facebook ads, what's new and what you've got to expect in 2024 to get that great return on investment, okay? So we've just gone through a period of years really where Facebook ads used to work amazingly really, really well. And then we had a really bad years in 2021, 2022, beginning of 2023, where really Facebook ads were not working so well. So many people have lost a ton of money, but guess what? That all has changed because with the latest algorithm updates, like literally last three, four months, Facebook ads have been working wonders, like literally wonders, but there are a few things you've got to know. First thing you've got to know is that you've got to give that algorithm space. So what we found is that when you're optimizing for purchases, you're selling products online, really what's been working wonders are like completely open ad sets. So like literally no interest, no targeting, nothing, just let the algorithm work it out, okay? We found that the return on investment from those campaigns is just insane. So you make sure you continue with that in 2024. Now, the other thing that has not been working well in the last couple of years, but again has started to work amazingly last few months is what's called lookalike audiences, okay? These lookalike audiences are not new. They've been on the market for a long time. But the thing is that last two to three years, they really just did not work well because Facebook was going through many, many difficult periods with privacy and updating the algorithms and they just were not keeping up that fast, okay? Now that has all changed and now lookalike audiences are working amazingly. So if you've got a list somewhere stashed away with details of your customers who have already bought from you, please run a lookalike audience for purchases, please. That's gonna get you a ton of money, okay? Now the other thing you've got to know is that the strategy remains that optimize your campaigns for what you actually want. What does this mean? So many business owners, and I'm gonna get so passionate about this because like ah, so many business owners just go for the big business strategy. Like, oh, people have to get to know me first, you know? And like agency that charges you like three grand a month is gonna say, oh, we have to run like a brand awareness campaign and do all of these things. Guys, that is not true. That is not true. Like don't throw your money away, okay? don't run like awareness campaigns nearly willy like sure like five bucks on an awareness campaign okay like branding for five bucks sure but like none of those big budgets bs stuff okay just make sure that majority of your budget is set on a conversion on actually what you wanted to achieve which most of you guys selling products online you want to make sales okay so just optimize your campaigns for sales simple now the other thing you've got to know for facebook ads is that you've got to have a substantial budget to actually get some amazing results. And when I say substantial budgets, I don't mean like thousands a day, okay? But what I'm talking about is like, you wanna be spending at least $100 a day. Cause if you're spending less than $100 a day and you're trying to be like stingy, stingy, unfortunately guys, that's not gonna deliver the greatest results for you. And you're gonna have troubles getting this profitable and getting this scaling. So I always think faith over fear. This is something I learned from Russell Brunson, one of the biggest marketers, online marketers out there, is guys, you've got to give a little bit of faith, a little bit of trust and set a proper budget, set it as high as you can possibly tolerate from your point of view, because that has been proven over and over that that delivers best results. And the last but not least, guys, be very clear on your numbers. What is your break even return on ad spend? or be ROAS in other words, or ROAS, right? So what is your break even ROAS? How much can you actually afford to spend on ads in order to make money on the other ends, okay? So you've got to run the numbers. If you're not a numbers person, don't worry. We've got a calculator down below. You can literally just download it and like insert your details and ta-da, it's gonna give you all of that information to make sure that you never overspend and always, always, always are profitable with your Facebook ads or shall I say meta ads, but I'm a little bit old school, so I still call them Facebook ads, but obviously this applies to Instagram too. Okay guys, so do let me know, have you got any other questions about Facebook ads? Just comment below and let's make some money.